Is it gonna connect? Yes! Wow, it works! If you're looking to upgrade your current wired CarPlay stereo into a wireless CarPlay stereo, then check out this product from Ototo. It basically converts any stereo system into a wireless CarPlay with a simple plug and play of this adapter. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Life of the Box. Welcome to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to get Apple wireless CarPlay on your F7 Pro and maybe some other similar Atoto products that do not have uh, wireless capabilities using their Atoto wireless CarPlay adapter here with this little box. All right, so looking at the Atoto wireless CarPlay adapter, this is the box that it comes in. It's actually a very small thin box. But then again, it's only a little adapter here. All right, so let's open it up and take a look at what's inside. So we have the warranty, okay, six month free warranty and the user manual. And now let's take a look at the unit itself. It comes with uh, two USB cables. So one is a regular USB, two USB-C. And the other one is just uh, both USB-C on both ends. Pretty lightweight. It's all just plastic and and uh, you can definitely tell that it's going to scratch a lot. It's got two lights here and it's got this kind of like uh, mesh design. And on the side we have a micro SD card slot. We've got the USB-C on the back. So my current setup for connecting my iPhone to my F7 Pro is through a cable like this. Okay, um, focus. Yeah, so every time I get in my car, I would plug the cable in to my phone in order to get uh, Apple CarPlay, just like this. But hey, we're now in 2022, right? So we really shouldn't be needing a cable. So today we're gonna try to get Apple CarPlay wirelessly, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this installation. Okay, so my uh, Toto F7 has a data cable uh, with a USB, as you can see right here. It actually is labeled phone link. Can't really see their phone link. And so I'm gonna plug the supplied uh, USB cable. One end is the U the regular USB and the other end is USB-C. I'm gonna plug that in and then I'm gonna plug the wireless, uh, the new adapter onto the wireless C part and let's see if this cable uh, is what's needed to get this uh, to work. All right, so we have a red light confirmation right there. And now we've got a bluish green light. Okay, so now on the Atoto screen, we've got this kind of display here. It has got Atoto and the CarPlay symbol. Okay, so basically once, once you see the screen, it means that it's uh, ready to pair to your phone. So let me bring up my phone and we are going to uh, go to Wi-Fi. And we have the 832F or basically the wireless adapter here. And it's asking for a password. Okay, so we're gonna try the Bluetooth uh, first instead. And all right, so we have a hands-free device, 832F90 right here at the bottom. So I'm gonna click that and let's see if it connects. All right, Bluetooth pairing request. Okay, would you like to pair with your iPhone? I'm going to say pair and sure, I will allow. And let's see if anything happens here. It says connected. All right, so I'm gonna try connecting the Bluetooth one more time. Uh, now it says use CarPlay. 
I'm going to probably type, click use CarPlay, and uh, it says it's connected. Oh, boom. Looks like we're connected now. All right, so that, it was a little confusing in the beginning. I'm not really sure why I didn't connect the first time, but uh, looks like we're connected now. And look, no cable. Let's see if all these work. Let's try music. Okay, can we try Waze? All right, that seems to be working. Can we make a call? Yes, it works. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn off the car and turn it on again and let's see if it connects automatically. All right, so I'm gonna turn it on. I know I have the mini logo starting here, even though I'm not in the mini. All right, red light. And I guess it's got to connect here. Okay, I've got a green light. And we've got the, we've got that splash screen here. Is it gonna go? Is it gonna connect? Yes, wow, it works. All right. As you can see, oh, now my friends call me back because so I called him. We're gonna, we're gonna cancel his call. But yeah, look, hey, no wires, and we are connected to Apple CarPlay wirelessly. All right, so that works. And uh, yeah, so basically, you don't actually have to go through the Wi Fi. All you need to do is connect it through Bluetooth, and then you're gonna have this little guy connected to the USB uh, cable, data cable, and not through the head unit's USB cable because that'd be kind of funny having, you know, this box kind of dangling on the bottom. So yeah, as you can see, just basically connect it through Bluetooth and you are good to go. And now what I'm gonna do is just hide this, right, little thing in my glove box. And now we've got a super clean install here with Apple uh, CarPlay wirelessly. I don't have to worry about having to plug my phone every time I get into the car. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye.